Oh, hello, I'm Johnny Jungle Guts, the Top Notch Gamer, aka the Top Notch Gamer. Woo! Oh, and I just got attacked. You just got attacked. I'm here in the studio with Archie from America, Archie hi, Bukesh. Hi, how's it going? Thanks so much for being on the show, Archie. I am totally wanted to come for a long time. Archie, game designer, been in games for many years. The first video game designer I've actually had on the program, though I've definitely had people in tech, but not specifically in game design. Yeah. What, um, well here, let's, I think what we're supposed to, well we could just do a little grinding right now. Yeah. If we oh, want to, just, I'm so you, all about the grinding. So you could just time. get a feel of what's going on. Uh. Um, but, uh, Archie's, tell us some of the games you've worked on. Uh, sure, uh, I've worked on a lot of games in my life. Um, one of the first ones was, uh, at Electronic Arts, uh, Battle for Middle Earth which was an RTS. Yeah. Um, even to this day, I see a lot of people play it, which is pretty funny. Yeah. Um, what, what year was that? What was the release year on that? Oh, God. I'm old saying this. Uh, it was like 2005, 2006. Yeah, 2005, 2006. Yeah, I remember yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah. It was it was well-received, and at the time, I, like, hated working on it because I was, like, all I did was do, for 80 hours a day was, like, you know, just go in and, and work on the game, and then none of my life was mattered. Cause yeah, I think when you do those corporate jobs, that must be exactly what happens to you yeah. as, a, as a developer. But, you know, like, going back, thinking about it, you know, it wasn't such a bad game. It was, it was really fun. You know, I remember, I certainly enjoyed it. It was certainly worth it in that capacity. Yeah. Uh, also, just for those listening at home, Archie is playing Final Fantasy. I'm not the one playing today, it's which is a, a Final Fantasy Let's Gay first. Whoa. Uh, and I'm excited that it's happening. Get Get the gay out of here. Yeah. Get the gay out of here. Archie's a married man. Shh, don't tell anyone. Married to a lady. Whoa. A human woman. Whoa. It's pretty crazy. What yeah. age were you when you did all that? Uh I, I so uh yeah, I was I was I was I was uh twenty tw 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 it's a spiritual marriage. I'm oh, okay. Yeah. Uh but yeah, so I think it, we we've been together for a while, you know, to some extent. Uh, that that's a very personal life I have. Yeah, um, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're not gonna get into that. We don't even want to say when the marriage happened. So we'll move on. Uh, so after you did uh, Middle Earth, uh, what was uh, your next big uh, project in games? Wow, that guy's blocking you out. Yeah. Really so where am I going exactly? Uh, you are going down on the map to the left and up. There's we're we're trying to get a new airship. Um, and uh, Daryl's tomb. I'm not sure if Daryl is a guy or a gal. It really doesn't matter, but it's an old friend of the Setzer characters. It's like right over there. And I think it's a little more. Yeah, there I see it. it was, this one. These horrible. That little. That 3D little... gestures that just oh, look God. so glaring. Why is the art so crappy in this? I don't know. I think they made a phone adaptation of this, and this isn't. They uh, just use a sprite from sprites. that. I mean, there's someone working on a mod right now for oh, it to make it look like it? the old. There's already like a subtle mod, but um, yeah. it's kind of like. I mean, my problem is even less with how sort of glossy everything is, and more just with how bright everything is. Like yeah. those older games were. The original game was so muddy. You know, it had that industrial sort of feel to it. Yeah, because it was a steampunk world for sure. Oh right? yeah. yeah, yeah, and this this makes it seem it's kind of bad. <laughs> oh oh, this is your friend's grave. Yeah, she was really something. Could have turned inside out and watched. So Daryl is a girl, like Daryl Hannah. Okay. Act Star of Splash. <laughs> the first time I think that was probably the no that was I think that was the first time I ever saw boobies. It could be anything lurking down here, so keep your eyes peeled. I can tell you're a real gamer because you really want to go through this story moment with me. Usually people just talk over talk uh, over the dialogue. Yeah, no, dialogue's important. So here, let me read this. Approach the wall to reveal a secret entrance. Head down the stairs and in this room go through the lower left door. Lower left door is what it's saying. Lower, lower. Okay, I'm going to keep going down. Is it, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it must lower be left. right there. Okay. Uh, open the chest to receive crystal mail. Shit. Crystals. Let's see. Well, Tombstone is blank. blank. Oh, maybe carve something into it? Yes. Sure. Nothing probably comes to mind. Okay, so maybe this isn't the lower left door? No. Let's go up and see maybe oh, in attack. that other room. Alright, let's see, see these enemies. Oh. 
So after, ooh, so after, uh, after Middle Earth, what was the next thing? Um, I did a little bit of work on uh, Battlefield Two. Okay. Uh, but that was just like some. They just needed all hands to like play the game, and I played it for like a month straight. Which well, that's really fun cool. work. Yeah, it was fun work. It was really, it was really cool. Yeah. Um, but then uh, that was that was my last EA game, I think. Um, oh no, no, I worked on um, uh, Medal of Honor, uh, Pacific Assault. Okay. It was for the PlayStation Two, I believe. I didn't play that one. I played the one with the French Resistance. What uh? What happens in that game, Medal of Honor Pacific Assault? What's, like, the plot? It's, uh... Oh, God. Uh, that thing does not want to die. It's yeah. immune to your little swords. It has, like, infinite health. This is what I'll say is, uh... The guy with the blonde ponytail has got the drill abilities Wait, and stuff. Wait, one of my guys turned into a... Uh, a duck? A frog or something? I think it's supposed to be a kappa. It's, like, a Japanese water spirit. Oh. Uh, oh, wait. I think you're on, like, auto uh, or something. Yeah, how do I go into that? I think there's definitely a button that you press that causes that. Now I'm uh, every, causing you to run every, away. Everyone to go auto. Uh, but I, now I'm having a hard time finding it. Okay. Oh, here. Let's get into another battle. Oh, someone's poison. Oh. Uh, how do I get started? Menu. So, how do you menu? There. Okay, there you go. Wow, he's just got a he's got a perfect storm of diseases on him right now. <laughs> there's no cure for that. <laughs> Items. Let's see. Maybe, re maybe a remedy? How do I go into it, eh? Hey? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, antidote. Remedy. Cure potion. That'll definitely do one of them. Uh, and then green cherry will heal his... What do they call that? Frog status? Imp. Imp. Uh, Imp. Yeah. Green cherry will heal that, I know. Where's the green cherry? Oh, green cherry. Oh. And then the last thing looks like... He's, he's Muslim? I don't know <laughs> what that symbol... There's, there's a Christian cross to cure that. <laughs> uh, I don't really know what that is. Maybe just try a remedy. Uh, oh, the general cure-all? Yeah, it's right there. Remedy. Uh, Let's see. Oh, oh it, it did cured it. it. It cured everything you have zombie <laughs> and death. <laughs> nice. Which are not too different from each other. Uh, so, yeah. Um... Mm -hmm. Should I heal any of these guys? Yeah, I should heal any. They're... Deborah's looking weak. I would basically just use Deborah to cure every turn. Oh, okay. These names are confusing because I just named them all after, like, my dear friends of life. <laughs> Ruin so. Knight is one of your dear friends of life. No! Deborah is oh, a Ruin Knight. Deborah is a Ruin Knight. Oh, okay. My best friend, Ruin Knight. My best friend, Machinist. My dear friend, Machinist. Who I've loved for many years. I know a gambler. I know a gambler. Have you ever known anyone who had, like, a gambling addiction? Uh, no. You? No? Okay. That's, like, a general thing I want to say, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Like, it doesn't exist in our generation as much? Yeah, I feel like maybe we're more addicted to, like, mobile games or something than, like, gambling. You, so you know people who've, like, like had that addiction. Mobile oh, yeah. Mobile game addiction. Yeah. Spent, mo spent a lot of in-purchase oh, sure. money. Oh, Yeah, that's like, everybody these days. Clash of Clans or something. <laughs> do, they, do you even pay money on that one? Yeah, you, it's pay for play. So let's go to the right and up and see if maybe there's a... Oh, no, bottom left, they said. Lower left door, so that must be the upper left door. So let's see if there's a lower left door. Yeah, right here. Let's see if that's got... got one. There we go. Oh. Crystal mail. Obtain uh, crystal mail. Who, who's got to Okay, it? descend the stairs on your right. Does someone's got to equip it? We could equip it. Uh, let's see who would need Deborah. that. She could be good for it. Okay. Deborah's are... Uh, yeah, let's try crystal it. Helm. You could probably just hit optimize. Uh, there we go. Crystal mail. Uh, oh yeah, it's a little little boost there. Okay. Very good. Um, it's like I know how to play Final Fantasy. No, you do know. <laughs> I mean, you're kind of jumping into this. So yeah, that's right. Go to the stairs and right and pop open the chest to get oh, a Zarina no, gown. It's still going the auto. Here, let me see if I can figure out what button. Oh, no, we didn't turn it off. Shake it. That's not it. There we go. Somehow I turned it off. But I also triggered them all oh. right away. So, bye bye. Marlboro. Okay. They call that giant Remedy. green thing a oh, Marlboro. Yeah. It's a classic. Oh, a regal that Sarina gown, regal crown. That's like two. That is a. This is must be the old translation. Oh. To the right of the chest, there's a secret path. Oh wait, no, no, no. Go back down there. Apparently, there's a secret path. Oh. Okay. All right, now let's take kill, out this. I gotta kill Marlboro. Yeah, let's kill him. Um. So that guy has 
Bull... That guy actually, you, yeah, you just want to attack with, with that guy. This guy, though, has the drill, or the machinist abilities or whatever. Okay. And then the white-haired guy has slot machine stuff. I don't really know what that... Uh, that's it's random thing. effects kind yeah, of... Yeah, uh, he's uh, not that good, but anyway. Yeah. But so, so you... He's pretty. So, Pacific Assault was World War Two or what? Yeah, World War Two. Yeah, that was when they were making World War Two games. Was it, like, really racist, or...? Uh, I don't really remember, honestly, but, yeah, it was, it was, you know, it was a Metal Honor game. I love those things where, like, where they treat... So, wait, down... What does it say? To the right of the chest, let's go to the right of the chest right here, there is a secret path in the lower part of the wall. There we go. <gasps> Leading to a hidden room with a treasure chest containing oh experience God. egg. Oh, that's gotta be good. All right. Um, like that movie Pearl Harbor, where the Japanese people are sort of like a like a natural disaster. Mm. You don't really see their faces. I don't yeah, think, they just at any like point roll in, in with like ships and stuff. Yeah, like, you just see the planes. Well, I think. you don't want to like humanize your enemy. At all. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, that movie is really bad though. <laughs> Did you ever see that one? What Pearl Harbor? Yeah, no, I think I missed that one. Oh, so now and this is the experience egg, and this translation is the growth egg. Oh, so should I equip all this? Yeah, stuff? maybe equip it to Deborah because she's definitely like an end game uh, character. I'm gonna Deborah's use. Deborah's your like bottom girl here. Yeah, yeah. So the rest of them I don't think are gonna make it to the final. So. So this is not go to go out to like I think this is like items. Go to equip. Equip. Deborah. There we go. Now go to relics, and instead of Hermes, Hermes we could say it's Hermes sandals, like designer sandals, oh, but okay. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, no, we want to keep the ribbon. I think she should keep the ribbon, but get rid of the Hermes sandals, maybe yeah. with the experience egg, because I bet that like doubles the amount of experience you get or something. Uh, Let's see. Keep going down. We got a lot of... Wrist. There we go. Oh. What does oh, it do? Doubles. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, okay. let's get that going. Fire that up. Okay. All right, there we go. Uh, and anything else we got? What was uh, the other back across the secret hall. All right, I'm back. Back across the secret hall. Go through the. Should I go? Th the door above the chest. You go through the door above the okay. chest. Yeah, there was an evil-looking turtle in there. Oh yeah. Like, so cloudy. Sure. That thing is and really crazy. Magic with this with this person. Yeah, you could try magic with him. I don't know. Nah, he doesn't have anything that good. Okay. Just, just slot. I would do slot. Slot? Oh. Whoa. I want to get three chocobos here. Whoa. There we go. Little... This better be good. Oh. Nice. It was good. <laughs> it was really good. Dang. <laughs> just pulled those out of nowhere. Yeah, I now have a gambling addiction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, okay, so after you, so why did you leave AA? What made you, I mean EA, why did you, why did you get out of Alcoholics Anonymous? <laughs> why did you leave, oh, I so you did do this. I found God. Um, yeah. And then, uh, you know, that was the last step, I believe. That's for, important. For leaving EA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, I went back to that auto again. Oh, nice. Uh, I don't know. Well, it's, it's, they're do? all dead. I think it must be one of these buttons. Oh, okay. Oh, you, I think you turned it off. I think somehow so you just turned it off. This select. It must be, yeah. Okay. I'm not totally sure, but something like that. Um, but yeah. So what made so what what made you head out of there? Oh, it was like terrible working hours. You know, again, like 80, 80 hours a week. So flip that. Did you already flip this? Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Here, let's get into it. That's gonna raise the water level, maybe. Uh, maybe I have to save that turtle. No. Now return to the second room with all the doors. Second room with all the doors. That's a little vague, but I think we just need to go down and out and, like, all the way out. You know? Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. More Chocobo chocobos. stampede. Deadly pollen. Is that going to oh. be poison? Oh, oh, yeah, no, undead. I poisoned myself? No, that was those evil oh, flowers. Oh. Always Zombie be... status. I think that's what that is. Or maybe it's poison. I can't uh, really tell. Oh, but you can get you. They gate. They drop holy water. So maybe you can cure him. Uh, items. Yeah. That, use that's... items. Use maybe holy water. I'm gonna assume that's gonna be the cure for zombie. Let's see. Maybe we could just get it. Maybe you want to sort all the items. Look at the top there. Oh, there we uh, did it. Oh, he's almost dead that. though. You can use some high potions on him. 
So then he started getting into indie games, right? Um, no, I, I worked in, like, VFX for a very long time, but then uh, I got kind of started going back for my master's in computer science. Oh, where was that? Uh, at Pasadena City College and UC Irvine. Mm-hmm. Uh, but PCC more. So you can just go out of here, I think, and go back to that very first huge room. Marl blah, blah. Uh, and how was that? Oh, it was really good. Uh, I mean, I, I got to meet a lot of interesting folks. Uh, kind of going back to college when you're, like, a little older is kind of fun, too, you know. Yeah, maybe. The hearing you say that's very heartening, because I'm getting into that going back to, like... I could go... If I went back to college now, I would feel probably a little older than a lot of the other students. Mm. But, uh... I mean, that, what, what does that matter, really, you know? I, I guess you're right, you, yeah. You'll be in the right headspace more than those students are, you know? Yeah. Uh-huh. True. Uh, Very true. Slot. Well, I want to see what that one is. I probably won't uh, get it, though. It looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. When you... When you don't get any matches, then that little rabbit just comes out and heals you for nothing. Oh, nice. It's pretty funny. It's not, it's not a bad, bad... My City and Rabbit. I wonder what that's, uh... The origin of that is. But, uh... Oh, so close. So, you get out of school. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh... Then I kind of, uh... Work, work at this company... Doing, like, 3D programming. And okay. And then, uh... Then one day I was like, oh, you know what? I kind of want to make my own games. N not in a giant corporation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, I started doing that for almost, uh, say, five years now. So yeah, go back, I think, go back up through there. Second room with all the doors. Proceed to the upper right door. So we're going upper mm. right now. Okay. Oh, shit. And what was the first uh, first uh, project like that you were able to work on? That was uh, your project. I mean, well, like, I, most of the time it's, a lot of people will say they want to make games, but even when they want to make games, there's very few people that finish a game. Really? Yeah. So, you know, th that takes a lot, you know. Even a small game to finish it from start to finish is very few people because, like, it's hard to stay within scope, which is, like, you know, like how big the game is going to be. Right. And that gets bigger and bigger, especially if you've never made a game for the first time. Um, and kind of limiting yourself on what works and so what doesn't. So I think there's a door that opened up behind that, oh, okay. behind that tombstone, if I'm quite correct. You know, back in the day, like, how did anyone play this without having the Prima Guide? You know, I, um, asked myself that question less with this game even than, say, like, Final Fantasy X 2 is absolutely impossible to play without strategy guides. Yeah. I really don't think that's it's possible. That's the one with lightning? No, that's the one where Yuna's uh, st styling. Oh, yeah, 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 her fashion. And yeah. I like the, the fashion. The two girls, right, yeah, uh, yeah. The pain, I like pain. Yeah. Um, as a character and sometimes in my personal life. <laughs> and also <laughs> that the fashion, but I found the, the, the outside of battle gameplay to be too... Uh, because I think I've gotten to this far in this game without, like, regularly using a strategy guide. I'm sure I missed tons of important stuff. Oh, but... yeah, 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 yeah. All right, uh, so... Now we're turning the second room. Proceed to the upper right door and examine the tombstone and reveal another door. Through there is a switch for you to press. Let's press that switch. Uh, Water oh, is going up. Oh, my God, I'm going to die. Uh, return once again to the room with all the doors and take the lower right door. So we're going all the way out of here, and we're going <coughs> lower right. That place with the turtle, right? No, yeah, maybe that's where it'll take mm. us. Let's see. Lower right door in the next room. Man, Sabin is just get it, slaying him with the with the claws. He's got the claws. He's got the claws. And Black Panther's got the claws. Are you excited for Captain America? Or you just hate that shit. Uh, <laughs> what are you trying to say? That I don't like Captain America. I am so excited. <laughs> this is the thing. This is the thing. Captain America is a ninety-some-year-old virgin. Okay. <laughs> How many nerds can relate to that? <laughs> you think about it. Uh, he's saving his virginity for America. He's right? saving, that's exactly, <laughs> for the American people. I wonder. You know, it's funny, I never thought about that Captain America is probably a virgin in uh, the... Uh, in the movie. In the movie version, it's there's really never... They, that. You know, that's something he's that... he's like I, 12 or something when they, like... 
make him captain, right? I think like, he's a grown man, but he's, like, in a 12-year-old shrimp body. He's, like, a sickly person before he becomes Captain America. Yeah, yeah. And then it just never really seems to happen for him, because it's, like, the 40s. People don't really... I mean, I yeah. think people probably did have sex before marriage more than they say, people but... People had sex in the 40s, too. People definitely had sex back then, and then they had sex in their 40s, but... <laughs> Then he was in a block of ice or whatever the fuck that was. I got double done. Let's see what the hell this one is. Ooh, disco. Oh, it's not <laughs> as good as the Chocobo Stampede. It got disco lights on it. It's like, you were like Dazzler on X-Men for a second there. <laughs> it's, um, the, it's the hair. But uh, I am I am strangely excited for this cat. I feel like the Marvel movies have finally reached. Is that a, the Civil War? Is that what yes. you're talking about? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. finally reached a. Oh, do we go down through here? Down the bottom right? I don't even know where we are. Let's see. Okay, okay, so we got that. Right, okay, we got the Genji helmet. Back in the previous room, one last take, the door in the middle leading down. So, mm. right there. Um, so, there's just finally enough, like, characters that the movies can sort of resemble, like, an actual universe of comics in the way that the comic books Yeah, but anytime do. there's, like, more than, like, five characters on screen, I just wonder how that's going to play out to some extent. Where... Yeah. That's fair. Okay, let's maybe this, maybe that switch? Maybe that? I don't know. Wait, okay, let's hear. Um, proceed to the upper right door and examine the tombstone and reveal another door. Genji home. Back. Ooh, ride the turtle across and press the switch on the other side. So I think maybe we have to prep. See if we can ride the turtle across here. Oh. Oh, maybe press this switch? I don't know. There we go, oh, yeah. Okay, there go. Ride the turtle across. Wow, subjugating turtles. It's amazing that a sea turtle could survive in these conditions. Yeah, in like a crypt in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna say it's not a sea turtle, but it. I don't think there's. It's okay. a crypt turtle. It's a crypt turtle. I mean, we've got <laughs> giant flowers like turning us into zombies. So let's not like go for realism right now. <laughs> All right, save point. Let's get into that. Oh, uh, does it save auto? No, no. Here, go into that menu screen uh, if you met, and then go down here. Yeah, save. All right, maybe not save over that one. Okay, that's your special one. Yeah, well, also in case you reveal some, like, horrible personal detail about yourself and don't want this to air. Oh. You know? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen. Oh, no, wait. No. It's okay. Now we can just go right back to where we were. Yeah. It's confusing like that. It always tries to take you out to the load screen. But yeah, I've had people... It wasn't... I didn't even think that he said anything incriminating. I think he just a po was just a post them and delete them type person, you know? Oh, Captain America? No, uh, like a guy who I did the show with, oh. and then he didn't want, he like, oh, realized did, later he didn't want, he was like, I can't have any of that oh, online. Yeah. <laughs> but he didn't say anything, yeah. uh, no, like really bad, like that bad that he did. Yeah, done. but you know, it's their perception. People I've, are sensitive, I've, I've you had know? that moment where I, there was, there was a talk that I invited someone to, and they just casually said something, but... I didn't think it was that bad, and it was just a critique of the institution that he was working with, and then he was like, oh, I can't get that, get out. And I was like, what you said is, like, m that much of a secret, you know? Right. <laughs> Ooh, oh, no. Dead. Okay, let's Deborah. kill this thing. Oh, okay, okay. This Actually, is, I have a theory here. I have a, a the battle. I have a theory about what... Oh, it is? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. There's, like, this is a mini-boss. It's, that's someone. Oh, I do have to wait for him to come out. No. No. Dead. Well, you obviously killed it. But here's my tip: if we have to fight any more mollusks like that, do not attack it when it goes into the into shells. Into the shell. Okay. Um, is the trick for those? That's, that's sound. Sound video game logic. Yeah. All right. So now we got the dragon claws. Let's put that it's on. It's funny. Deborah's dead, but still walking around. Yeah. Oh no. Maybe we could run. I don't even know. Maybe we could probably take these guys. Yeah. They're, Let's try. When you do, when you do uh, uh, the ponytail friend, he's got a ability that's like I think it's I don't know. Here, we'll see when he next comes up, but it's uh, it's like dr drill or something. Oh, oh, it doesn't matter. He's they're all dead now. Yeah. So. Uh. Okay. Uh. So items. Ether or no? Phoenix down. Phoenix down. That's right. Oh, I should know that. So. So, but what was the first game he worked on? Or worked on in a group that was, like, smaller than, like, EA? Uh, that was, uh, probably a game called, um, There Came an Echo. It was, uh, a sequel to a game called Sequence. Um, and There Came an Echo featured the voice acting of Mr. Will Wheaton. Uh, Will Wheaton. Sure. Uh, 
<laughs> I'd like to be the gay version of him someday. <laughs> In culture. Oh, okay. Uh, would you still be a Wheaton? Uh, <laughs> well, I guess I'd have to marry him for that to yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. I was watch. I love George Takei, but I was watching uh, the documentary about George Takei, and he so shamelessly calls... He's like... Sees Will Wheaton at a convention, he's just like, well, you're putting on a little weight there. Like, he's like, basically <laughs> just lets him know that he's fat now. Yeah, but, like, he's pretty, you know, he's very upfront in your face, you know. Will Wheaton? He, no. Uh, George, oh, yeah, yeah, super upfront. Yeah, yeah, but, he, like, Will Wheaton looks visibly hurt in that moment. Yeah, oh, like, yeah, I think I saw that, too. He looks, like, he looks he, sad. <laughs> You know, um, it was it was it was pretty jarring. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did we give uh, Marcos the dragon claws? And no, I don't think so. Let's get into that. Equip uh, Marcos. Marcos. Uh, Let's just equip. go. I don't know which one is stronger, Burning, Burning Fist, because he's got the double weapon shit yeah. going. Maybe just do optimize. Oh, uh, where's the optimize? Just go back one uh -oh. thing. And then go over it. Yeah, there we go. Dragon Claws. Burning, burning fist. fist. That was the good one. Wow. Wow, that could be like a movie. A fire uh, fury. That could be like a kung fu movie. Dragon <laughs> Claws, Burning Fist. <laughs> so, okay, featured the voice work of Will Wheaton. Yeah, um, it was an RTS. Um, and it w But there was a little, like, twist to the RTS that it was voice controlled. So the idea was... Really crazy sound. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty out there. Um, okay, we got the Dragon Claw... Found the man eater. Save your game and enter the room above you. Examine the tombstone. You will trigger a boss battle. Okay, so we've got bosses after this. We want to probably heal up before we get to the top of those steps. Oh, uh, attack! And he, this guy has what the what you said? Oh, uh, no, you're oh. on him. So slot. Do the slot on him. And then. And then this. Oh no, we're on Deborah now. I can. Okay, so. Uh, tools, tools. That's what it's called. And then and do. Trip. I would say chains. I would say chainsaw is the oh, best one. Chainsaw. Yeah. Does he pull out a giant chainsaw? Oh, wow! Yeah. And he puts a mask on? Woo! Holy shit. Pretty good. Did you know Friday the 13th is coming up? Oh, boy. Yeah. Scary. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. John Carpenter, wherever you are, I love you. <laughs> I did a drawing of you. All right. No, 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 no. Let's sit heal first. Okay. Before we get into all that nonsense. Items. Maybe abilities. Well, you can use items. doesn't matter. Oh, no. Abilities are better. Uh, abilities. And Deborah will be the one with the Deborah cure. Deborah always with the cure all. Cura. Cura. All right. I think you can hit all at the bottom there. Whoa. Nice. Maybe one more time. There we go. Yeah, we can just yeah. do tar just target a few Micro special this. friends. So yeah. So uh, so it's a void. And how uh, big was the production team on that? Because that sounds really with Will Wheaton involved and everything. Uh the the, the actual development team was about five. Uh, with one of them being kind of a halftime contractor. Sure. And I was brought on to bring do a lot of the... And like, there, the initial prototype, there was a Kickstarter and stuff like that with Will Wheaton. Um, and then it, they did the prototype, but then they brought me on to be like the real like tools pro or the main programmer for it. Mm -hmm. And that was to build like the, the our system architecture, which is a lot of work. Oh, yeah. Um, and so I bought, ended up coding most of the guts of the game. Wow. And then the guy, uh, Jason Wishnaw, who was uh -huh. a very wonderful designer, I think, um, also um, ended up doing like the gameplay elements and so forth. And uh, we had a, two, a 2D artist and a 3D artist working on the team as well. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty intense. Well, I can't wait to look that game up. I think maybe talk to that? Let's give that a talking to. Here lies Daryl. Question mark. <laughs> oh, here it comes. All right, boss, Doolahan. Oh, Without shit. Sela's runic ability, this is going to be the hardest boss ever, so you just want to use runic every time for Sela's. Uh, Sela should have the running shoes equipped. Oop, missed on that, because she's going to have to use runic very often, and someone other than Sela's needs to have the cure too. Spell. Should I run away? Can that, can that happen mm, to the boss battle? Don't think so. Let's just power through. Can Our guys are pretty bossed up. Can you tell him to, like, take a chill pill for a minute? Mm, don't think he's going to respond to that. <laughs> he might respond to the chainsaw, though. Uh, oh, I really want to get, like, a re something really good. Uh, ooh, that Miss. was not the one. Maybe try drill next time yeah, that on that. That might attack, no. Uh, drill tool, it says. Oh, drill tool. Drill is the one to use. And, uh, and then, um, there we go. Oh, yeah. That's getting it in there. 
But every time you get uh, to Deborah, just use a, nice. a runic ability. So that guy you can just attack with, I think. And ability runic. There we go, yeah. Because yeah. that's going to absorb a lot of the magic damage. Mm. But who? Let's see if he has. See if he has. Well, dude, actually, just do the drill. I feel like I should heal. See if this guy has a cure too, mm. or what he has. Magic. Go over to that. No, he doesn't have Literally it. nothing. All right. Slot machines for Magic. Setzer. Raise, no. Yeah, Sellers is the only one with Cure 2, I bet. That's Wait. not good. Blizzard, I would not do. Blizzard, oh, attack. I and think his... Magic. Wait, no. She's and got it, yeah, Cura. Cura. And then maybe, I don't know how, you can hit everyone. I think maybe by pressing the R button. R. There we go. Oh, Perfect. Right, let's see here. We're gonna just. I feel like these boss battles are always a little easier than that you would think they would be. If you get like the right item, it's like, you know. You just also, his it. holy misses completely every time. I think it. Oh, yeah. There we go. We did it. It was way did less. Did we kill it? I think oh. we killed it. Oh. It was teamwork. It was teamwork. teamwork. It was all teamwork. Teamwork and the. Team teamwork. And the guy. All right, there we go, and then that's gonna pop open. Maybe we'll get it some kind of emotional storytelling moment. <laughs> Here lies Daryl. Okay, Daryl. Daryl had to die. <laughs> go, go into the back room back there. I think. Um. So after Earth, I'm so sorry. I'm just about to call it Earth to Echo. There um, came an there echo. There came an echo. Yeah, it's funny because uh, Earth to Echo. Uh, there came an echo came out first, and Earth to Echo had a same like like visual treatment for their like fonts and design and stuff like wow. that based on There Came an Echo, and eventually they they realized how similar they were because you know it, it lends itself to a certain design style based yeah. on the name itself too. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So. so up back behind the flowers, we've got a door. Okay, back here. Um. What's this here? Um, I really hope this is not the moment when the game is at. There we go. Uh, Being here brings back all kinds of memories. Are you making her walk down there like that? Say it again? Like, did you just walk down the steps? Is that you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This next text flight could be dangerous. Oh, she looks like Daryl Hannah. <laughs> what are you trying to prove by pushing your ship to its limits? It's pointless. Watch that. Was Corey like the Joker character? Setzer was his name. He had airships and he's got a gambling addiction. Oh, okay. If the worst should happen, take care of the Falcon for me. So is this his... You like, can't be serious. This is like his backstory. When I take the Falcon from you, it'll be because I left you a mile behind in a race. Until then, I'm not letting you out of my sight. Good luck with that. Because his airship has been destroyed. It's the first airship of the piece. No. Oh. oh my! Whoa, that's so 3D. I mean, even in the original though, this was this they were doing this kind of graphics. Yeah, but it kinda... looked better though. Oh, it all it absolutely looked yeah. better. It just doesn't seem right. It's too shiny. Part of the grit of this game was in the 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 pixels and the and the colors and the and the 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 graphics, which were at the very limit of a Super Nintendo's abilities. Yeah. Okay, so now that we're maybe flashing back to the race. There's n really nothing like flying. Oh. Are you flying? They got... Oh, no. This is a flashback. We're just all flashing back. Oh, oh too entranced by my lovely behind. <laughs> maybe she's referring to the behind of her airship. Uh, uh, or Corey's. Yeah. <laughs> Corey, named after my friend Corey Hansen in the band Wand, psychedelic rock band. Oh, nice. Just recently played on uh, Stephen Colbert, I think. Whoa. I think that might have not been with Juan, though. That might have been with his friend, uh, Ty Siegel. I'll fly past the clouds and see the stars closer than anyone ever has before. Be back by sunset. I'll be waiting for you on a hill. On a hill? Let's Do you tell people that? that? In my personal life? Yeah. Just find me on the hill. Find me on the hill at sunset. That's you such know, a I, final, fa or fa like, RPG sort of trope, almost. It's such a pre, um, like, telephones trope, I feel. Mm -hmm. Like, think about how much more difficult life was before mobile internet. 
Oh yeah. And even yeah, just yeah, it's like yeah. Google Googleable internet, the world was completely different, and we we barely even noticed the change. It was a year later. Oh whatever. Oh sorry. Oh no. I mean I don't need to. Re- I I very we very rarely pause for these cinematics uh, when I'm doing the show because people are just talking uh, about themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, store the ship and then put it to rest down here. Oh, nice. Side, Side eye. So this is the Falcon. So much story right now. I can't very well be the world's fastest pilot if I can't even fly. I need your help. Falcon. Look at all these uh, blonde people. It's, like fucking, uh, it's Final Fantasy. It's getting a little racially not diverse. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, all right, we've got a chance. With this, we might just have a chance. If we land up, we should be able to get inside to launch our assault. Okay, so we don't want to do that yet. And look for the rest of our friends. Did they get out of the cave? What, what just happened? We got out of the cave. Was, we found an like, airship in the cave, and oh, we flew and out of it. Oh, and they flew out of it, all right. That bird, could it be? Oh, we gotta follow the bird. Okay. I'm not gonna be able to possibly. How do they possibly expect you to remember where this is going? But. Oh, are you, am I following you? No. It's just, it's, just a, it's just telling you where you need to go next in so, the game. Follow oh, the pigeon. follow that pigeon. Why? Okay, I'm not sure, but something inside tells me it lead, it'll lead us to our friends. So. Thank you, Deborah. Always a voice of reason. Okay, so right. yeah, I Might think you, yeah, you're controlling it. Was it that town just back there, or was it? Is it this town right no, here? I think this is a cutscene. Yeah, it's doing. Oh it. yeah, so it's doing it all for you. Yeah. Oh, now I gotta land. I'm not sure what button that. There we go. All right, so just go right in there, I guess. Into Let's the see town. if this is the right town. Salt town. Oh yes, it is. Uh, so yeah, you could just go shopping. Is what it's telling uh, us to do. Uh, I feel like I should check my bags before. You know. That's good. Yeah. You just gotta let your bags go when you, you first gotta, get into town. You gotta Please. support the local businesses. Rooms are, uh, no, I'll come back. Oh! There's this guy, this pirate guy, I don't trust him at all. He's way, way, way too fast. He gets steal up from us, <laughs> and then we have to chase him down. <laughs> was a thief once when I covered a secret. Wow! So I, to go into I can't hiding. believe he's admitting that to us right now. <laughs> I'm in hiding. <laughs> That's like sort of when you, s- yeah. Yeah. You meet people like that, though. That just can't keep their mouth shut. Yeah, like things. you just see them and they immediately want to tell you their whole life story. Oh, yeah. That's so awkward. It's the worst. <laughs> it's the absolute... It's such a chore. I remember, uh, yeah, in college, I think I had, like, an English class and the first day, this, this, this person in class sitting next to me just had to tell me their life story. And I was just, like, so freaked out. And then it was, like, crying when I, like, walked them to the car later on. Oh, boy. And I was just like, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> Those are like those first week of school people. It's like, you make a friend group your first week of school, and by the first month of school, they're gone, and you replace them, but you had that initial group of, like, total weirdos. Uh, that was, like, the first day, I think, yeah. of friend that I had. Where were we? I'm so... St- I mean, we, you've, like, more invested in actually playing Final Fantasy than, like, any other guest I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, but you're... One the, other guest. You're the one who plays, though. That's true. Yeah. Uh, so, you finish, uh, There Came an Echo. Yes. Uh, and then, uh, I started working on another game called, uh, uh, Sonic Movie Maker. Sure. Which was, uh, kind of, uh, it was a movie about making a porno with Sonic and his friends. Sure. And it was a lot of introspection on, um, kind of, uh, deviant art culture based on, like, furries and Sonic and all those Mm -hmm. other things. From stuff I'm deeply interested in. Sure. Well, you can get a ninja. Yeah, he, I will, he's not dead. We'll oh. we'll find him again. Oh, do you buy him or do you switch? No, him? these are. I think what it's showing us is a list of who can equip this item that you're targeting. Oh, oh okay. And cool, then cool, if cool. it's a if it's an up number, that means it's a it's yeah, a better, it's better piece for yeah. them. I don't think I need any equipment. You don't think we need any? No. You can buy some. I you know I'm not stingy. Oh. Let's see, crystal shield. That's not, we don't need, Crystal Helm would be good for... What's the most expensive? The most expensive is the Magus Robe, which is not for anyone we have, so not that. Crystal Mail, didn't we get one of those in the... Isn't that, that's Deborah. We got, De- these, 
uh, I think it's like these ones are the ones we have right here. This little T-shape. So crystal shields all around. Sure. Yeah, that's fair. Three. And crystal helms. Two. Two. One. Let's get two. We got a lot of money, so I'm not worried about that. Yeah. And then crystal. We're just rolling in it. Crystal. Uh, the black arb we don't need. That's actually that's a plus for Sabin, so maybe get it for him. Get it for uh, Marcos. Rather. One or two. One is good. Yeah. And then crystal mail. Let's see how many of those we need. Crystal mail. Two. We could go two on that. And no relation to Crystal Maiden. I don't know Crystal Maiden. <laughs> is it an anime show? <laughs> uh, um, Crystal Maiden is a character in Dota too. Okay. Mm, I'm very know. ashamed right now oh, okay. that I am not. Oh, uh, it's okay. Most people play League of Legends, which is another one. Sure. Uh, so you, so you, the Sonic Movie Maker, and for those who are listening, it's not really very graphic in a porno in that pornographic way. It's tongue in cheek. Yeah. You know. Um, the sex, it's sort of like just a very rolling around type of a vibe. <laughs> just the best way I could just with like hearts and stuff, Isn't right? That, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I mean, mean, yeah. There's no hardcore penetration, right? right. You know? That's what I'm kind of getting to. Maybe I guess. the sequel. Maybe in the sequel yeah. they'll have that. But. <laughs> so Sonic Movie Maker, and then what's what's next? Is that are we kind of up to speed a little bit? No. Uh, I've I've created a lot of games in between. You know, sure. I've, I've done a lot of uh, installation based games. Um, sure. And also kind of a few others. Another one I'm proud of is um, called um, Ferrari Cops, Ooh. which as uh, PewDiePie really loves that game. Well, um, that's good for your business. <laughs> I guess, being that the game is free. But oh, still. well, oops, then that might have been a miss. <laughs> But no, it's 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 gotten a good reaction, and people have even created sequels for the game, which I think is really funny. Yeah, uh, that's cool. So you're into? Are you? Do you think it's? Is I think that's really funny. Covert for I wish they hadn't done that. No, 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 no. I I really appreciate when like people create their own versions of games. You know, like I really wish like fan games are I find really interesting, mm -hmm. and to have someone had made a fan game of my work was is like. You know, very, very, I think the highest praise you can have. <laughs> sure, absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, and what happens in Ferrari Cops? Uh, Ferrari Cops is, uh, it's it's based on the leap motion, so it's this, like, kind of, this uh, sensor that tracks your hand, and you, it determines where your hand is in, uh, like, 3D space all the time. Yeah. And so Ferrari Cops is kind of a, a take on OutRun. Have you ever played that OutRun? It's like a Ferrari game, and you're driving uh, yeah. a Sega. Yeah, I I yeah. have a vision of it. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. all, all every game I make is kind of based off Sega games. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, your your hand is the Ferrari, and then when you splay your hands fingers out, all your fingers become machine guns, and then you, your hand is a flying Ferrari. Ooh, it sounds beautiful. And then you just really shoot, sounds beautiful. Shoot stuff, and then there's a lot of references to anime, which I'm really yeah uh, and so it's all like introspective and funny at the same time oh my god for our, and that's free to play i can download yeah, that right now yeah but oh. you, you need the leap motion though which, oh shit yeah. what is that but you attach that to your computer yeah 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 yeah, yeah. um yeah so you're a huge sega fan is what I'm oh hearing. yeah yeah oh yeah yeah uh yeah i, I mean, always i could talk about sonic for hours, hours yeah so, yeah uh i always think about how like no one really talks about fantasy star 4 oh okay because it's sort of like that was like that was on the, the Genesis Se Genesis yeah or Mega Drive which is such a phenomenal game especially because they have this sort of like pseudo animated comic booky type cutscenes mm. which I think is like sort of way more effective than the way it's kind of done here sometimes where it's just like the you know moving just the same sprites you know yeah yeah yeah. Uh, Fantasy Star Online. Have you ever, or played that? I didn't that? play that, but I know uh, I know the, of its the Dreamcast uh, importance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dreamcast was one of my favorite like consoles. I think a lot of my work is representative of what was what was done on the Dreamcast. I think, sure. To this day. Um, 
But yeah, I don't think anyone talks about Fantasy Star in general because it's sort of like to the victor go to the spoils. You know, Nintendo won the war and oh, for then, they, then they wrote yeah. the history. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just for consoles in general, but uh, like Fantasy Star 4 just seems so good to be so unknown yeah. as it is today. Yeah, there's a lot of R- say, RPGs that are on, were on the Genesis that kind of got didn't get the, the, the light it should have, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, um... Shadowrun was an American RPG. Yeah. On the Genesis. They had a, a SNS and a Genesis one, but the MS, Genesis one was really good. Yeah. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. What was the game on Genesis where it was, was it called? It's like, it was made I by like MTV yeah. Games, and it's like, it's like, you die pretty easily, and it's animated in this sort of really minimal 3D way. It's almost like reminds me of Prince of Persia a little bit and you're like on an alien, it's like science fiction aliens. Oh, Outer World? Or That's outworld, exactly or what outworld. it is, yeah. Yeah. That um, so great. I think that was initially on PC, but yeah, it was on it was on the consoles as Which well. is amazing that they could put that on Sega because it was like 3D graphics. <laughs> so, Ferrari Cop, that's beautiful. Yeah. What uh, what are some other ones? Uh, so there, I mean, there's been a lot. Uh, for right now, there's one I'm kind of working on with um, this conceptual artist. Uh, so I've started showing kind of games in a more gallery sort of setting. Sure. Uh, which is I think kind of new in in a lot of respects. Mm-hmm. And so I was very lucky to come across a very amazing artist uh, by the name of Corazon del Sol. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's a third generation conceptual artist. So her grandmother was making conceptual art in the 40s and 50s, and this was very radical at the time, you know, um, like when, you know, most women were supposed to be thought of as housewives. Oh, yeah. It wasn't even legal for them to get credit cards. (laughs) Yeah, let alone open a gallery and create art. (laughs) Yeah. And we, you know, you think of it, and it's like, you know, that... That's a huge deal, you know. <laughs> huge, huge. Uh, and then her grandma or her mother was an artist, and you know her grandmother kept uh, doing a lot of like performance pieces, and her grandmother as well. Uh, so you know, really grew up around the culture as well, and you know, um, and so she's a third generation artist, and so she contacted. Why is she running around? Uh, Letters. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Where are we going? We head to the house, uh, once we were done shopping, head to the house at the upper right corner and speak to the woman inside. Head to the house in the upper right corner. It could be that one right there. This one? Yeah. Okay. See what this person says. Uh, ooh, a lot of oh, flowers. Okay. It's very sweet. Silk flowers, though. It's Whoa, a little creepy. It's romantic. My boyfriend in Mobley sent them to me. Uh-oh. Look closely, they're all handmade. Real flowers won't bloom anymore, so he made me these from silk. Wow, wow. that's tr- so beautifully tragic. Wow. And he just sent me that letter. <laughs> the letter just came out. But wasn't there. Mobley's destroyed by Kafka? Someone else must have written that letter. Just so read it. Read the letter. My beloved Lola, art thou well? We have rebuilt as much of the village as we could hope to. I believe I should be able to return to thy side before too long. Recognize that style of speech <laughs> as the guy who says thou. <laughs> it looks a lot like Andy's. Where is he mailing it from? There's no return address. Could you please attach this reply to the carrier pigeon outside? Send uh, the letter, sure. There's so much busy work you have to do in RPGs. Do I have to pick up the, I pick up the letter? Maybe no, I think she know. just gave you a different one. Oh, oh return letter. Yeah. Well, we gotta spice it up. Some people don't like to just grind all day, like you and me. <laughs> Alright, we're looking for a carrier pigeon. I uh, bet it's to the upper left. Yeah, yeah, these guys. These little pigeons. There it goes. There it goes. <coughs> wow. So what kind of, what kind of uh, work are you making for these galleries with Corazon Del Sol? Uh, so, so she contacted me and wanted to make a game based on uh, her mother and her grandmother's experiences within the art world. Okay. Uh, and so this was a very feminist story, and she did a lot of research as far as what is games concerned, games are concerned. But like she didn't hadn't played games when she was a child. So, Whoa. Okay. So it was a really interesting perspective that she wanted to create a game and did a lot of research about games, but never came in with the pedagogy of what games should be. Cool. Right. 
Um, so in that extent, like her perspectives in creating video games are very outsider and kind of came from left field. Uh-huh. And that really resided with me. Like, I, you know, again, coming off Sonic Movie Maker, you know, I was like, oh, how I like crazy games. And right right off, we completely hit it off about as far as our artistic, like, visions are concerned. Sure. And we're able to finish a lot of our own kind of thought processes. So um, working with her was a dream, you know. It was... Great, it yeah. was it, And her ideas were just crazy. Like, when... I remember from our first meeting, the end was like, so yeah, I'd like to have flying vaginas with buttholes in the game. And I was like, great. yeah, that's a great idea to put something in a game. <laughs> All right. Sounds pretty good. And so that's what you put in the game? Uh, that's one of the things in the game, yeah. Um, but you got to work hard to get to it. Oh, cool. It can't be easy. Uh, and now what's, what's the most recent thing? I just showed me a trailer for one game that looked really fabulous. Oh, that, that, that was, that was, that was it. That was it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's another project I'm kind of working on. I, I, I might've showed it to you. Uh, I don't want to go too deep into it, but it's, it's about a lot about RPG fandom and, and yes. Yeah. And, uh, very uh, relevant to the show. Yeah. Uh, and Christianity, which I, I don't want to give too much again, uh, but it's in the works, and right? Because a lot you're saying a lot of games don't get finished. A lot of games don't get finished. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, don't have talk scope. it up. Talk it up. It's never finished. <laughs> People don't have the scope to see the what it's going to take to do their uh, yeah. their little fantasy projects. And it's always like stuff. when they want to make the first game, everyone's like, "I want to make an RPG," you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And you don't understand what it, what it takes to make an RPG. Like just because, yeah, I've played a bunch of RPGs in my life doesn't mean. Oh, it's I, so I, complex. Think about all the things, all the different little items, and all the different little yeah. abilities and effects. That, yeah. Like the battle system is so complicated. Yeah. Um, I don't want to confront Kefka at any time yet. We're far from that. Uh, uh, so we're now. Well, now I think we probably want to go outside. Are we all equipped with all those items? Oh, let's do optimize. Um, and you're also involved in a lot of activism, or some activism. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so recently I've, I've joined, uh, the USC IMGD department, which is the, um, the games, uh, interactive media and games department at USC. Um, a lot of amazing games come out of there, and I feel really cool. I was really impressed by it when I visited. <laughs> yeah, uh, we do a lot of interesting work, uh. And, uh, you know, uh, so now I'm teaching Unreal and a couple other classes, hopefully soon. So, uh, and then also, yeah, activism is something that I'm very much uh, in tune with. Uh, and that's bringing computer science and, and creative technology to a lot of uh, people that would never have access to it. Sure. Well, is there anything else you'd like to plug, Archie, as we, I think, come up towards the end of the show? Uh, no. So at the moment, um, oh, uh, there there is um, a a VR festival that we are running with USC that's mm -hmm. coming up. That's part of uh, Alamo Draft House and E3. Uh, oh so boy! In, in June it should be really fun. And also in June the Sonic convention, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to talk about that. Was, uh, Sonic Revolutions. I was hoping take to, your time. I was hoping to keep it a secret. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so we won't talk about that. No, it's no, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I mean, like, I just want to keep it a secret because I just want special people that I know to only go. <laughs> wow, it's been a while since I've heard someone express that about something. That's really special. Yeah. So Sonic Revolutions is. Uh, was a, a private Sonic fan community run um, fan community run festival in in England, and it was running for almost five years uh, until Sega of America shut it down because uh, they thought they were having way too much fun. Mm -hmm, and sure. uh, so you know, hopefully they won't shut out the new one because I keep talking about it. But, um, oh yeah, that's another reason why you don't want to Yeah, talk about yeah. It. But it's coming to Los Angeles. I mean, there's a Facebook event for it. Yeah, so, yeah, you know. It's going to be know. up for months and months before yeah. it even happens. But I'm, I'm sure once it happens, like, once or twice, you know, and people, like, 
get the word out about it, then it's going to be... Like, Shut down, you think? I, I can only imagine, because it's too good. It's too good. <laughs> it's too it's good. It's too much good stuff. <laughs> if it's too good, that's not official, then... Yeah, then someone's gonna be mad about it. Oh yeah. Well, sometimes you can win the war. Like, um, I don't know. I was very involved in uh, like the fan community around music for Harry Potter. Ooh. People would make bands where like there was a hundred, like a hundred bands in this genre called, I guess, wizard rock. Okay. Uh, the main band, of course, being Harry and the Potters. Okay. And uh, they got into a lot of legal hot water with Warner Brothers, and they incited a ban on all Harry Potter media. What? Except for the books. The huh. the fan, the members of the Wizard Rock community did the oh. ban. And so oh, they wouldn't... For, against themselves. In a way, yes. Okay. Against everything except the physical hard copies of the books. And so that gained a certain amount of traction. And then Warner Brothers... Um, stopped, like, entered into a gentleman's agreement with them mm. and stopped trying to stop them from having, like, shows and stuff, you know? Mm. So it was pretty crazy, uh, crazy victory. Yeah, I mean, I, I, there's a lot to be said about fan fiction, I want to say. Or oh, sure. That, I mean, fan fiction Filk. and fan kind of filtering of of media, yeah. you know, it's they want to just have their own adaptation of it. It's great. It's so egalitarian, and it's like uh, it takes things out of just the regular realm of uh, media and into the realm of like folklore, really. Yeah, and it, you know, if you think about it, there's a like a lot of what we consume as media is kind of everything that's good is kind of nothing is ever out of left field. Something is always referenced from something else. That's know? true, and you know, it's. It's can you get away with that reference is a lot of lot of a lot of like being successful as far as whoops whoops oh, oh that's no, okay no no oh no it's all right we're right at the end of the show no. <laughs> it's okay yeah <laughs> Archie thank you so much yeah. for coming on the show today yeah. yeah and hopefully I'll see you soon yeah definitely sooner than June but I want to go to all that stuff too thanks for having me over all right bye friends. <laughs>